everyone, it's Shay from Pish Posh Baby, and today we're doing a little bit of a different setup, but we are still comparing two strollers. So we are comparing the Baby Jogger City Mini Double, which is the previous version, with the updated version of the Baby Jogger City Mini 2 Double. They are both really, really great, and they have a couple of new upgrades that are really interesting that I definitely want to talk to you guys about, so stay tuned. So just how does the City Mini 2 Double compare to the previous version of the City Mini Double? To answer that question, we have to go back on what is different, what has been upgraded and what has changed. And then later on in the video, we will touch on what has stayed the same. So the most significant upgrade for the City Mini 2 Double that you won't find in the City Mini Double is the adjustable footrest. Uh, the adjustable footrest allows parents to access the underseat basket through the front as well as the back of the stroller, utilizing the storage to its maximum potential, and more importantly, it adds extra comfort to your child. The previous City Mini Double does not have an adjustable calf support, so you can only access the underseat storage basket from the back, and it doesn't allow your child that extra comfort to, you know, lay their feet where they want to lay. So I think that is a very, very nice upgrade. Another big change you're going to see between the City Mini 2 Double and the City Mini Double is that they updated the fabric and the design from the City Mini Double. So in the City Mini 2 Double, they really aim to update the design to be more sleeker and nimble and easier to maneuver. The stroller is perfect for growing families that you know are in the city and they need to maneuver around small nooks and crannies. So they updated that, which is really, really nice. And then another big update that you're going to see comes in the accessories. So the City Mini 2 double accessories are a little different than the City Mini double, namely the belly bar and the snack tray. In the City Mini double, you see that the, the snack tray and the belly bar are one big thing for both child. It's just one one giant belly bar, one giant snack tray. In the City Mini 2 Double, you will find that they made it individual for each seat. I really love that. I think it's gonna, you know, save a lot of problems and it is always gonna make it easier for parents to get in and out, their child to get in and out of the seat. I really, really enjoy that they incorporated the new accessories. Now, going back, some of, the, some of the features haven't changed because they shouldn't have to. They're already great. They're already amazing. So Baby Jogger kept that in mind. They did not fix what wasn't broken. So starting off with the canopies, you're going to see that both the City Mini Double and the City Mini 2 Double have UV50 canopies that are large and spacious with two Velcro peekaboo windows. So that is really, really nice. And because we're talking about the canopies, let me talk a little bit about the handlebar. Both of these strollers do not have an adjustable handlebar. So they're both stagnant handlebars, but the canopies are large and spacious. So I suppose it's a trade-off. Going to the seats, both seats are really nice. When you compare the City Mini 2 double seat with the previous City Mini double seats, they are very, very similar because they're both great. Parents can ex expect the same near flat recline on both seats. They have a five point harness. Babies can comfortably nap or take a view of the world separately. So I like that they're again, individual seats for individual children. It is newborn compatible. So parents can create a travel system, adding the city go or using the city mini two double pram. So again, very, very nice. Both strollers have the same smooth ride with EVA wheels. They both have front wheel suspension and a convenient non-adjustable handlebar, so it is a really nice ride. It is important to note that although the wheel suspension and handlebar has not changed, the actual design of the City Mini 2 is set to be more nimble and easier to maneuver. So again, just, you know, going back. And then the brake is the same. It's the same foot brake, really nice. Nothing has changed when it comes to that. And then the fold, finally. The fold, again, hasn't changed too much. It's the same classic baby jogger fold. All parents have to do is pull both straps on the seat, and the stroller folds right into itself, which is super convenient. I really love that feature. I love the baby jogger fold. It's really nice. Going back a little bit on the car seats that I mentioned earlier, it is car seat compatible. Now, the City Mini... The City Mini Double is car seat compatible with 
Cybex, Maxi Cozy, Graco, Baby Jogger. Now, the City Mini 2 Double has a, a little bit of more brands that is car seat compatible with, which I really like that they added that. And it is car seat compatible with Baby Jogger, Britex, Cybex, Graco, Maxi Cozy, and Be Safe. And then talking a little bit about price before this video ends, we're going to talk about how the Baby Jogger City Mini Double retails for $449.99. And the Baby Jogger City Mini 2 Double, this is the updated, upgraded version, retails for $499.99. So it's about a $50 difference, not too bad. And yeah, they're both available at Pish Posh Baby. They're both really great. Comment down below on what you think is really cool about the differences. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tell me what you guys think. What do you think of the new upgrades? They're definitely interesting. They're definitely cool. So leave them down in the comments. Please like, subscribe.